Let's be honest, while a lot of protein and energy bars can be good for you, they do lack quite a bit in the taste department, but no longer. Karen Donaldson from Excel Weight Loss is going to show us a simple made from scratch recipe that will leave your taste buds singing. Well, thank you very much for stopping by uh, this morning. You're First welcome. off, a lot of ingredients here, but it's actually really simple to make these. They're so no bake. Simple. Just They're no bake. You just throw all of the stuff into a food processor or grinder, swirl it up a little bit. And then you could either roll them into balls like this or put them into a pan and make okay. them into bars. And then you have a very high protein snack or breakfast or whatever you want to call it. All right, so yeah, what do we, super easy. What do we actually have here that goes into these balls slash bars? This one actually has some pumpkin seeds. So everything in here is really high in protein and high in healthy fats and also high in fiber. Okay. So, and just great ingredients. So this particular one has some pumpkin seeds and walnuts. It also has some almonds that I didn't bring and some black sesame seeds, okay. which are interesting. They don't really have too much of a flavor. So it kind of gives it the, the black color. Exactly. And All then right. the chia seeds as well give it a little bit of black color. Okay. The chia seeds have really healthy fats in them and also a ton of fiber. I've heard those are the new super food. They are the new super food. It even says that on the back that they're the new super food <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. The people of the ancient Aztec and Mayan empires revered them as vital nourishment. So they have omega-3 fats, protein, antioxidants, fiber, okay. and so on. So they're super good for you. All right. Um, and they don't really have much of a taste either, so you can add them to soups or stews or bars, whatever. Okay, so this is an ingredient you could use. You can elsewhere. use it all the time. Yeah. All right. It's, yeah, very versatile. So lots of different nuts and seeds going into it, and then to make them a little bit sticky and gooey, um, this one has sunflower seed butter and some almond butter. Almond butter. And these are just nut butters that came from the nuts themselves that have been ground into like a peanut butter type okay. thing, but made with something besides peanuts. Okay. Um, the recipe didn't call for it, but I added a little bit of vanilla instead of just water to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Okay. And I know some people like to throw in some dried fruit into them as well, okay. which I did on these. And then some people actually add cocoa. Okay. To give it a little bit of a the chocolate, chocolate flavor. Taste. Yeah, okay. something like that. I didn't make these with cocoa, but basically blended all those ingredients. We can post the recipe on the website and then roll them together and put them in the refrigerator and now they're ready for all you right. to sample. So how long so, do you actually put these in the fridge for? Um, at least a couple hours okay. and then they're good for about a week. Maybe, okay. maybe a little bit less than that. So I'll be curious to find out if you like them. Fruity and not like the usual protein bars that I always get, which yeah. are a cross between cardboard and dirt. There you go. So, <laughs> so. They, yeah. Well, and some protein bars are fine. And granted, this took a little bit of extra work, but all natural ingredients, you know what's going into it. Um, you could get together with the kids over the summer and do this as a fun little project. And I think they do have a lot more flavor than some of the other ones. That yeah, are the, fr the fruit definitely makes it. So I'm going to say yeah. I'm definitely a Add fan of Add a little bit of, the, of dried fruit in there, too. Right. I thought so as well. Sweetens it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, most of those protein bars are just really rough tasting. Yes, yes, and these are chewy and kind of gooey and they have you can actually taste the different flavors in them. Very healthy, probably less expensive too by the time you just make them yourself. So. All right. Yeah, they're really good. All right. Well, thank you very much for You're stopping welcome. by this yeah, morning.